Good morning. Uh, my name is uh, James Chen, and uh, I want to first of all share that you know, my son, my 16-year-old son Jack, is my personal advisor on social media for the Clearly campaign. And it, it has been a fascinating experience for me. When I reflect on myself as a 16-year-old, not a, just a few years ago, there was nothing critical I think I could have offered to help my father's business. But for me today, he is my mentor. So, you know, we, I've had an absolutely fascinating uh, conversation with, uh, with Florence Broderick, and it's my pleasure to introduce her. Florence is a strategic marketing manager for Big Data at Telefonica. Florence is passionate about uh, harnessing the power of cutting-edge technologies for social good and the role young people have to play doing more socially aware business models in multinationals. And she is looking forward to start mentoring Generation Z employees soon. We had a very nice talk about she also comes from uh, Somerset, and I have a, a house in Bath, and she told me, she's a very good salesperson, she said, you've got to try the ice cream my parents make, it's called Lovington's. So uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, uh, Florence, and I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Florence. Thank you, James. Thank you very much for your introduction, James. In 2015, flash floods devastated northern Chile, damaging more than 28,000 homes, causing economic losses of $1.5 billion. In 2016, a 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck Ecuador, killing 673 people and injuring over 27,000, causing economic losses of $3 billion. The lack of timely and accurate information on affected populations during natural disasters can massively restrict the effectiveness of humanitarian response. There are 6 billion mobile phones in the world, and 80% of them are in developing countries. And the power of connectivity, as sad as it sounds, often comes even before a pair of shoes. However, this provides us with a network of social sensors, generating information 365 days per year, 24-7. Our network never sleeps. In Telefonica, we convert the 21 billion mobile data events created every day on our networks into insights, not just internally, but also for our customers. Our main product, Smart Steps, helps us to analyze the movements of groups of people using these events to see how they move, where they move, and when they move providing valuable commercial information to sectors such as retail, transport, and tourism. However, this is also a huge enabler in unlocking the power of big data for social good, feeding insights to public bodies and NGOs to help them respond to natural disasters and global health pandemics. Young people in Telefonica are playing a key role in ensuring that we start to manage the coexistence of both social and commercial opportunities. And young data scientists have a fundamental role in making this happen. In three years, we have recruited over 200 data scientists whose average age is 28, which is 11 years lower than our average employee. And we intend on hiring another 100 by 2018. I've also co-founded the Telefonica Millennial Network alongside several other graduates. After six months, it has 1,800 members in 16 countries and the sponsorship of our president and CEO. Together, we've helped One Young World Ambassadors from Siemens, who we met here two years ago, to create their Young Voice program, as well as collaborating with the IBM Millennial Core. I strongly believe that these very networks of young people, of ambitious young people, are the biggest engines for change in organizations. In our company, these same groups of ambitious young employees have driven the Big Data for Social Good initiative and have managed, working alongside senior leaders, to form a standalone unit specifically for this purpose. In this area, we have used our mobile phone data to measure the impact of, of alerts on the way people moved during the H1N1 flu outbreak in Mexico, 
which swept across the country, infecting 1,600 people. Human mobility directly accelerates the spread of diseases. So we looked at how people moved before and after the government advised them to stay at home, seeing that only 30% of people actually did, while 70% of people just carried on moving day to day in the same way. To help the authorities, we also predicted which areas people would move to, allowing them to take targeted actions to contain the spread and reduce the number of individuals affected. We have also worked with the UN applying our data in natural disaster management. During the floods in Tabasco in Mexico, we saw alarming peaks in our cool, dra uh, cool traffic in 22 geographies, allowing us to inform the authorities on the worst hit areas so that they could deploy resources to rescue more people. As you can see, our mobile phone data is exceptionally valuable. But the real power of big data is all about combining multiple data sources. If we can also cross satellite imaging, social media data, search queries, payment data, then together we can extract much more impactful insights, saving more lives together. To convince the public and private sector companies to participate, we are collaborating on an open algorithms project with the MIT and the World Economic Forum, amongst others. This allows organizations to keep their data on site rather than on an external platform, taking the algorithms to the data, not the other way around, addressing the problems of privacy and security. Big data for social good is a unique opportunity for us to convert what was once considered to be a data exhaust into an asset shaping policy in a truly data-driven way, and measuring our progress on key sustainable development goals. 70% of us here choose our companies based on their commitment to society, yet only 25% of us believe that our organizations prioritize being socially responsible. We, as entrepreneurs, can make them more responsible. We can do that together, driving a social data revolution. Thank you.